Hello and welcome to White Glove Reviews. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Benchmade Freak. And let me see if I can get it open. And the Benchmade Freak. And that's F R E E K. Anyway, here we go. This is the Benchmade Freak. And so, first of all, let's see. You got the pocket clip, and it can be, you can put it on either side. And as with, I think, almost all of the Axis Lock Benchmades, this one is ambidextrous. And It's S30V steel and Benchmade, made in America. Let's see. As I said, it's got the axis lock. It's got a little thumb stud to open it. You're so inclined. One thing that I noticed when I was playing with this knife is it came out of the box a little tight. And so if you want to loosen the knife a little bit you can just maybe actually if you want to tighten it too you can just screw or unscrew this right here and this will tighten or loosen it and my cyber tool Swiss army knife had the right bit for this uh, so anyway it's probably a relatively common bit so anyway it's ambidextrous unlike me and Pretty serious looking knife. Look at the width of the blade. You all see that? It's pretty thick. It feels, I mean, okay. Here's one thing that I noticed about this. And, okay, let me, <laughs> this is a Griptilian and this is a bug out. And the bug out has been in my pocket and it's gotten covered in dust and whatnot. All right. So one thing that I noticed with when I got the Griptilian, I think my biggest complaint was how the handle felt. The handle felt too light for the knife. And I know that sound might sound weird, but just with the composite materials and all, the handle oops. The handle felt too light. With this one, the handle feels the right weight for the knife, if that makes any kind of sense. And, I mean, this is obviously, it's a bigger knife than the Griptilian, and it's also a bigger knife than the Bug Out. So just for comparison. It's much, it's actually not much bigger. It seems much bigger, but there's actually not that much difference between the bug out and the freak. Um, let's see. The blade is uh, three and a half inches, maybe a hair over. And the whole thing, well, the whole thing is five. Been about eight and a half, nine inches. So it's a decent sized knife. And it does have the axis lock, which oh, I really like the axis lock on the Benchmade knives. This feels. I don't, it, I, I don't think there's much difference in the weight either, is the weird thing. But this one, the Freak, feels more solid than the Griptilian. And the, the bug out is just a ridiculously super light knife. And mm. here's the problem I have. I got the Griptilian, and it just didn't feel right. So I tried the bug out, and I really like the bug out a lot. And I've been carrying it around, you know, in addition to my Swiss Army knife that I carry on my keys. And it's really, it's such a, the bug out is such a really nice, light, I mean, it's just a good pocket knife. 
and but this one I would think this one would be my favorite bench made if I hadn't ever used a bug out does that make sense like I like I like the freak better than I like the griptilian because it just feels the the freak feels more substantial but the problem is the bug out just feels it feels really good I mean it's just like it's super light and it's easy to handle and it's a good size and I mean it's also blue I personally I would really like like a bug out that was like this like red like a dark a darkish red but that's just me but I don't know I mean it's depending on what you want to do with it the freak it just feels like a massive tough knife but I don't know I don't think for me it's going to replace the bug out I do. I mean, like, the, I like the knife. It's a really nice knife. It just, it feels, it feels good in your hand. It's solid. It's really solid. I mean, like, compare, if you compare just the widths of the blade, you can see, compared to the bug out, it's much thicker. So, but it just, I don't know. It's tough. It's really tough. The problem, the problem is, it's like, I like this knife a lot. I mean, I really do. But, man, the bug out is just so good. I don't know. Maybe I'll try this for a little bit and just see. But I just, hmm. I'm fear, I fear the bug out has ruined me for other bench maids. Which is kind of sad. I mean, like, even... I have a Benchmade Auto that I carried for a little while. And the problem with the Benchmade Auto and carrying it is... I'm kind of a little particular about things. And the I know why the safety here is rough. I mean, so you can easily find it. But the roughness of the safety bothered me when I had it in my pocket. Because I'd reach in to get it and I'd rub the safety. And it would irritate my... It would just irritate me. But I don't have this problem with the bug out. I actually don't have any problem with either of these three, these, either of these three knives. But even this one, I think I like the bug out size. I think I like the bug out size even better than this one. And they're close. But the bug out is much lighter than the CLA. Eh, anyway. So, hmm. I ended up not talking about, not talking about the Freak that much. It's really a nice knife. And if you're looking for like a big, solid knife, I think this is a good choice. I mean, it's got, it's got all the good stuff that you like about Benchmade. And the handle feels right. The handle feels as weighty as it should feel for the knife. But I don't know whether I don't know whether it's I don't think it's gonna lure me away from the bug out. It would lure me away from the griptilian for sure. But I just I don't know. It seems truly sad. You find a knife that you like so much it ruins you for other knives. At least other bench blades. Anyway, let me know what you think. Have y'all tried the Freak? And you like it? You don't like it? Did you have some knife that ruined you for other knives? Hmm. Let me know what you think in the comments. And if you have any suggestions for anything you'd like me to look at, let me know. And if you've enjoyed this video, Oh, I'll include a link for the freak in the description in case you want to check it out. And I'll include a link for the bug out and uh, whatever else I talked about as well. I don't know if there's... I don't know if the auto 
if the Benchmade Auto is in stock anywhere, but I'll look and see. If it's in stock somewhere, I'll also include a link for that. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and I hope you all have an excellent day.